Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from the Andromedans and it's entitled How to Change Your Reality. Greetings, we are the Andromedan Civilization. We come forth in love, truth and peace. We deliver forth through our energy all that is available from the Creator that we receive. We give this to you now. We invite you to open your energy field to allow our vibrations to flow like a summer breeze through your being. Warm, gentle, comforting, awakening your vibration, awakening your being, activating the light present within you. Today, we the Andromedans wish to speak of how to change your reality. There are many of you who are unsatisfied with your reality. Maybe it is only certain aspects of your reality or your entire reality. You are desperate, desire a change, a transformation, maybe even a new beginning or chapter of your life. Take a moment to recognize if you do have any desires to change, to alter and transform your reality. We, the Andromedans, bring forth the energies and consciousness to support you in altering and shifting your reality. We wish to say to you that if you change your thinking, your thoughts, your perspective, your reality will change. And so we gift you the answer of how to change your reality by first changing your thoughts. Not only your thoughts, your perspective and your beliefs. Now this deepens further. For within many, there is a victim perspective. What we label the victim mode. This victim mode can manifest often or rarely. It can be something that you engage with often and even live your reality from. Or it might simply pop up now and then. When we speak of the victim mode, we are speaking of your loss of power. Moments where you lose your power. Or more appropriately, where you think that you have lost your power, that you are helpless, unable to change or transform anything. When you are in victim mode, you might feel that you are being attacked or things are being done to you, like the creator or the universe is causing you suffering, pain, discomfort, challenges in your reality. 
when you are in victim mode, you are often anxious, fearful, doubting, and lack trust. You believe that others should or are required to help you and that you cannot achieve what you wish without the help of others. enter into victim mode. Forgiveness is required. There is a need for you to be immensely loving with yourself. To take care of yourself. To cuddle yourself. And as you step out of it, so you can remind yourself of the power within your being. The in your being. How you create your reality from your thoughts, your perspectives and your beliefs. And how you can influence your reality from the state of being within you. So if you are able to focus upon love and peace and truth, this will radiate into your reality. The more that you practice this, the more you step into it and recognize it, the easier it becomes. It is as if you recognize the victim mode with greater ease and are able to decide that it is not for you. You do not wish to spend any time lacking in power but more so wish to energize, empower your power. Your power is your ability to follow your intuition, to make decisions. It is a flow that is natural from your being loving, peaceful, blissful, truthful. Your power is when you are aligned with who you are. Your power can be described in so many ways and yet you know when you are in your power, when you are accessing it and emanating it because you feel blissful. You feel happy, you feel content, and your perspective, your thoughts, they radiate the same. Often it is not so much about creating thoughts to think that are aligned with positivity, more so about recognizing 
when thoughts disempower you and remembering or imagining the power, the love, the truth, the essence of the creator within you, allowing this to emanate. Therefore, the thoughts are created from this foundation rather than from your personality. They can also be created from your personality. But sometimes this is more challenging. So the change in perspective thoughts comes from the essence, the space, the energy you recognize within your being and choose to emanate. It can also come from mantras, affirmations that are repeated but it is more from the one mode in your reality you will notice how even the smallest of thoughts or actions are actually born from this victim mode. It could be as simple as something that you eat might be born from the victim mode. It could be a word that you say or even a piece of clothing that you wear that is born from the victim mode. The more you recognize the victim mode, the more you will step into your power and your truth, thus changing your reality all around you. You can change your reality both from within your being and through the thoughts that you create with your personality. When these two merge, your entire being is synchronized. Thus the truth wells, the thoughts manifest. Your reality changes and you leave behind the victim mode which is creating the suffering, the pain, the challenges in your reality and within the reality of others, in truth, the reality of the world. And you might ask yourself or ask us, if I change, how does this small change influence the world around me? Everything is linked. It is synchronized and synthesized. Each change and transformation you make within your being is like a spark of light flowing to the entire world. A spark of activation. Now if you are expecting ascension to take place, quickly, then you may experience it this way. It takes precision and time. 
and patience. But every step you make influences and changes the world around you. And this filters into so many realities. So you can change your reality. And you have the tools to do so. We invite you to explore, to experiment with this. Your life is about experimenting, about playing. Play with your thoughts. Play with the connection that you hold with the Creator. Radiate these. Play. Be creative. See what works. See what doesn't. Make the shifts and changes that are necessary. We, the Andromedans, are present to support you and assist you. You only need to call on our energies. We thank you, we are the Andromedans. Thank you everyone for being present with me today and I hope you enjoyed the channeling from the Andromedans. It's, it feels very inspiring, very, I'm not sure what the word that is inspiring and guiding us. So I hope you felt it too. See you next week. Bye. I'd be greatly honored and appreciative if you liked and shared my video today. My YouTube channel has so many channeled videos now, so please do explore those. And if you want more information about joining me on a live webinar or receiving the weekly message via email, please go to omna.org, O-M-N-A dot org, and you'll find so many different channeled material on my website. Thank you.